Buenas tardes everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. I'm Chrissy, I'm from Germany and this video is my application video for the EF Vlogger Contest of 2019. On to the main topic of this video, this video will be about Tizi. So for those of you who have never heard of this place, Tizi is a small community in France and a lot of young people from all over the world, in fact over 100,000 people from all over the world, travel there every year. It's mostly Christians, but not exclusively, and everyone that I've talked to so far has been telling me how amazing it has been there and how they want to go back. So this video is mainly about trying to see what is living like in Tizi, what people go to Tizi, and most importantly, I really want to try to understand the magic of Tizi. So my trip over there will start in about 12 hours and I'll keep you updated on everything I'll find out. Arriving in Tizé, one of my first impressions was, wow, this whole thing, it looks a lot like a camping place in some kind of way. Also, I realized very quickly that living here is very, very simple. Um, starting with the food, which is tasty, but you only eat it with your hands or with a spoon. There's no forks, there's no knives, there's also no tables. You sit on the bench or on the ground and eat your food together with other people who are here. This whole thing of simplicity just continues with the accommodations that you're in. Um, there's either tents or barracks and the barracks they have very limited interior only a couple of beds also a couple of shelves to put your luggage back on and if you're one of the very very lucky ones there's also usb charging points and that is basically it This whole simplicity thing, it is very important and absolutely not important at the same time. And let me explain this thought to you. Two days ago I watched a movie about the founder of Tézé, who is Fergé, and his whole idea, his whole vision he had about it. And um, the idea was basically to create unity amongst people, to really create a community where everyone's accepted, everyone's listened to. Um, later, especially the young people who are not always listened to carefully in church and politics, this is a place where they can come. Especially every day in the Bible groups, you meet with five to ten people and you talk about a text from the Bible. Along with these texts, there come questions. Questions which transfer the content of the text to your everyday life. And you start conversations about society, about human to human interaction, about how would you deal with this or that situation. The good thing is, you really have an open discussion, everyone's listened to, and this is a great thing, especially nowadays, where a lot of people think in boxes like either black or white or either this or that, and if you have that opinion, I won't listen to you. It's a great thing to have that open discussion here. And I also really feel that community thing in church, especially in the evenings, one hundreds or thousands of people continue to sing for hours and hours and hours they just continue to sing together, so many people, and that's just a great feeling of community, which just leads back to that simplicity thing. You just don't need much to have a great time. This place, I think, it is really about the people. Simplicity and community, this does not only mean being together, but also helping each other. There's a lot of work to be done and everyone who stays here will just get at least one daily task to fulfill. 
which can be cleaning bathrooms, handing out food, lighting the candles, checking bags at the entrance of church, or reminding people to stay silent during the prayers. There's really a, a wide variety of tasks to be done. And the good thing is, if everyone's a helping hand, work gets done pretty fast, and together with other people, it can even be really fun. Because it has many different sides to it and it has very different moods prepared for you. There is this silent and peaceful mood and very calm mood which I could discover in church or at Sursa Tien or in the village nearby where I am at the moment. And sometimes it also has this wild and happy mood which really reminds me of a school trip or a youth camp. There's people playing all kinds of games like Tizzy Twister or Ninja and sometimes you're just standing in the waiting line to get your food and there's someone sitting on someone else's shoulders and screaming YMCA 10 meters away in the same line waiting for the food. There's people standing around a person with a guitar singing to Vance Joy's Riptide and this is really one of the most sung songs here um, apart from the um, Tizzy songs of course. Because there's just so much diversity in the people, in the nations, in the languages, in the moods. It is very difficult, I think, to explain to somebody who has not been here. And I feel like you cannot fully understand Tizi if you have not been here. Nevertheless, I asked some of the people that I got to know the past few days to try and explain Tizi in just a couple of words. There you go. In my words, I would describe Tizi as peacefulness, simplicity and community. Thoughtfulness experience and brotherhood. Wonderful, calming and indescribable. Peace and freedom. Inspiring, freedom, beautiful. Fancy and community and uh, nice place to have a good time with other people.